Okay, I've pretty much got this netbook um, running uh, probably as good as it's going to get for now without the touchscreen installed. Um, as you can see, I've removed the screen from its bezel. It's on its own. Um, it's good that there's only one cord that attaches the um, screen to the to the laptop. There was a couple of other wires there. There was a microphone. Um, which has stayed in the bezel and a um, antenna for the Wi-Fi which has stayed in the in the bezel so I'll remove them and um, install them inside the dash um, it only has two USB ports so I've got a USB hub here um, and I've got plugged into it a, a Bluetooth receiver uh, I've got a mouse plugged in at the moment and uh, a digital uh, digital tuner for TV uh, so this is this is uh, when I want to start the car. This is what will happen. Uh, I've finally got to the point of doing this because previously it's been far too much of a hassle to to do this. It's not feasible to start the car and wait, you know, one or two minutes for Windows to boot. As you can see, um, this is Windows 8 and it boots in. Uh, probably 10 seconds so anyway th when, when this is a touch screen it'll probably um, it'll function a lot better but for now I'll just use the trackpad and um, what you can see is for instance if I um, this will be the the main screen I might change it back to the lock screen because the lock screen's got um, it's got the time and it shows you if you've got any emails and stuff like that so I'll probably go back to that uh, and then when I want to use it I just swipe up and do whatever I like that'd be pretty decent um, now to go to the um, GPS it's as easy as just tapping on the GPS and it's there it's ready to go uh, it says unable to find the GPS but that's because it's um, turned off it's actually in the car at the moment so um, and that's that's it there. It's just like a normal GPS. Um, so that's that's great. If you want to go back to the to the menu, you just um, press the start button, and it goes back there. Uh, I can launch. Um, you know, I can launch the. You know, I've got some notes and stuff like that. Um, the browser is the uh, is Internet Explorer 10, so it's got pinch to zoom and all that nice stuff that you want. Um, and this is the one thing that I'm not 100% happy with at the moment. This is um, how I'll be accessing TV. So what I need to do is I obviously click the TV icon, and I need to actually wait for this to load. And it takes a little bit longer than um, what Windows Media Center takes. Like Windows Media Center launches in like five seconds. I mean, it's quite fast, but it's not as fast and fluid as I would like. Uh, so that's the problem with Windows 8 at the moment when it's missing Windows Media Center but it does work sort of um, as you know as good as I can sort of want it so I mean and, and it's got a remote control as well so I can um, change channels and stuff um, it's also got a power button to turn the television off as well which will be good because at the moment I have to sort of right click and go to exit uh, if I just press the home button it just keeps going in the background not, not so much of a problem I guess but um, I don't really want the TV on all the time so so anyway close that <clears throat> back to the GPS if you want to go to start screen just go like that and it's as easy as that. Um, so they're the two main functions that I wanted to work at the moment. So I've got um, navigation and um, I've got TV as well. Uh, everything else, DVDs and everything, will just play just straight up. They'll just launch. The other thing that I wanted to make sure that I could do um, was... Uh, once the touch screen's installed, I'll have a better idea of exactly what I want. For now, that's pretty much what I want, but 
um, I might start getting into .NET and creating my own uh, application, so uh, a Metro application. So I have um, music, and obviously I want to bring the OBD2 sensor into this as well. So I've got, um, I, you know, on a live tile, I, I've got all my um, all my engine reference, everything that I want, and I can just click it, and it'll come up with the taco and speedo and all that sort of stuff. So that's the next implementation that I'll make. But that's not going to happen until. I have the um, touchscreen installed. Once the touchscreen's on, then I can start making my my uh, fascia for the car, and um, then it'll all start coming together. So it's been sent off, so I'm just waiting for it to arrive.